Cristiano Ronaldo shocked the entire world when he joined Al Nasser. But what he went through in his first month at the club was even more unexpected. This is the reason why CR7's first month at Al Nasser was a total disaster. Cristiano Ronaldo sent shockwaves to the entire football world when he revealed where the next chapter of his career would take place. A five-time Ballon d'Or joining the Saudi Arabian League was big news, and his unfathomable salary made it even bigger. This wasn't the only thing that was over the top about his move though, as Ronaldo revealed that his ambition was to win on and off the pitch. Changing the world's perception of Saudi Arabian football was among his goals, but a month after his extravagant unveiling, it stands as the only goal his name is associated with. The Portuguese superstar is yet to score a goal for his team and the pressure is mounting. In just a month's time, Ronaldo had some bumps in the road. The latest edition of the legendary duel between him and his arch-rival was the first one. Granted, PSG vs Saudi Pro League All-Stars was not a match between two sides of equal strength, but that didn't change the fact that Ronaldo saw his side beaten by Leo Messi. Even Ronaldo himself got beaten physically by Keylor Navas, though since he scored a penalty at the end of it, he probably didn't mind it that much. What followed was his much-awaited official debut, since he had to miss out on two league games after he totally lost it back in Manchester and slapped a young fan's phone out of his hands. While every single Al Nasser fan was rehearsing their own version of CR7's signature celebration, it was Anderson Talishka who scored for his team. Ronaldo not only failed to impress, but got totally overshadowed by a teammate. The next hurdle was the Saudi Arabian Cup semi-final, and with a trophy so close in sight, Everyone was expecting the arrival of the first CU in Mersul Park. CR7 not only did not score, he missed a crucial opportunity that could change the course of the game, got singled out for his mistake by his coach Rudy Garcia, and saw his team eliminated from the cup. This was already bad, but what his coach said after the game kinda added insult to injury. The French manager told the media that his team needs to play normally and stop always trying to give the ball to Cristiano. For every football fan who thought this was the end of Garcia's hot take on his side's exit from the cup and his star man's performance, another thing was coming. He is a positive addition as he helps to open up the defenders. He is one of the best players in the world. He won't finish his career at Al Nasser, he will go back to Europe. So to recap, in a single press conference, Ronaldo's coach said his team needs to stop playing every ball to him, he'll probably leave Al Nasser anyway, oh and he's one of the best. Is Garcia low-key working as an agent to send CR7 back to Europe? We wouldn't know. One last shocking news came Ronaldo's way after his side's defeat against Ali Tihad in the Super Cup, when a video went viral showing two fans trampling on CR7's Al Nasser jersey. Although it didn't take long for football fandom to understand that this was a trolling attempt from Ali Tihad fans. By the way, which self-respecting fan would trample on his own team's jersey anyway? It's just common sense. Cristiano Ronaldo is yet to make an impact in Saudi Arabia, apart from the obviously great off-the-pitch Ronaldo effect he's been providing. But do you think it would end up being the only thing he will bring? Be sure to let us know. There once was a time when the most difficult job in football was filling Cristiano Ronaldo's shoes. That's why the Portuguese had a namesake curse. Can it finally be broken though? Check out this video and find out. See you next time.